Welcome back everyone who wants to see me drink some more beers this week. Can't believe I'm actually doing this again, but here we are. So just a rundown for today. We will be drinking two more beers that I posted on my Instagram and we're going to talk about some shows, some memes, some other things, and let's get started. Sorry last week uh, was a little longer on the intro. I'm going to try to cut them down a little bit. I just had to get through some stuff, but we are going to get right into the beers today. I'm super excited. I The ones I've posted, so... Um, it's another one that I tapped or, you know, poured myself a beer of. I did want to do a uh, one like this, but we recently tapped this new Metal Monkey Berliner Weiss. And I'm so excited to show you guys the color of this. It is really freaking cool. Um, so we will do this one first because I'm just like way too excited for this. And... <laughs> You don't even know. You don't even know. You don't even know. But um, I brought um, a little thing here instead of using a spoon so I look a lot cooler. So today we're getting into, um, it's the Clockwork Cream. Uh, it's an orange cream ale by Steam Hollow. Uh, this is at Lodi Tap House. This is at other places. I will show you where Steam Hollow is around this area up here. And this is 5%, which is not that heavy, which is unfortunate. I'm usually not into cream ales. I think, as I mentioned before, I'm mostly into kind of sours, but cream ales I'm slowly getting into. And the description of this said it was like a dreamsicle. If you guys have ever had a dreamsicle before, Fatty's in DeKalb has an amazing one. I believe they use like a vanilla liqueur or some ish like that. I'll send show you guys the recipe of how to make a dreamsicle if you've never had it. Maybe we'll make it on the show. But anyway, this is supposed to be like an orange dreamsicle, orange dream machine if you've ever been to Jamba Juice. That's kind of the vibes I'm getting from this. And I'm really excited to freaking drink this um, when I saw it. So we'll get into that. We'll talk about it. Boom. Look how much cooler I look as this splattered all over my computer. Okay, so I also brought a water today. I am so prepared. Three cheers for Kelsey for being prepared because <laughs> this is my second episode and I know exactly what I'm doing now. So let's see. Let me get some water. I also plan to drink a lot more on this episode, so bear with the drunkenness today. Okay, this is not as orangey as I want it to be. Also, uh, last week, those were two beers that I had already tried before. These are two beers I have never tasted. So you're getting my first fucking reactions here, people. Mm, I give the people what they want. Yeah, that was more beery. Hold on. Yeah, this is giving me like Miller Lite vibes. And that's not what I was, I was expecting some more like milk, like lactose-y, like a milkshake IPA. I don't know why I was expecting, I was expecting an orange dreamsicle. I was expecting it. And I'm a little bit disappointed. I'm a little bit mad. This, I don't know. I don't know why it's not, it doesn't give me that oranginess that I wanted. I'm still gonna drink it. Cause I'm, mama didn't rain no bitch, but I'm kind of mad. I wanted more orange, you guys. That's fucking rude. Okay, hold on. Okay. It's definitely subtly there. It is, su it's very subtle. It's not like bam, orange, which I, what I wanted. Uh, but it's pretty good. It's not the worst thing in the world. It could be better. It should be more like it was advertised to me. So um, now that I'm disappointed with that, maybe I'll put on the agenda for later episodes that I will make a dreamsicle on this show. So because I'm craving it now. And we're going to go into this next one already. Oh, I'm so ah, I'm going to pour it in a glass for you guys so you can see the color. 
Uh, does anybody want to guess what color this is going to turn out to be? Uh, this is the Metal Monkey Blue Head Blue Raspberry. And it's a Berliner Weiss. It's 3.9%. That is also really low. I got some really low ones today. So I'm so sorry. Maybe I'll pick it up to like a 12 for next week. But Berliner Weisses are in that sour range. So as I said last week, it was like the ciders, you go into sours, and sours, you have fruit beers, which aren't really sour, but Berliner Weisses and Goses, I think that's, it's G-O-S-E, spelled kind of differently sometimes. Goses are sour, Lambics, Bretts. Um, I will post, there's like a link of, if you're unsure how beer categorizes itself, Berliner Weisses are under wheat beer, and also Hefeweizens, but they're so different. I'm not sure how they're in that same list, but I will show you guys kind of a category and link of where I find all these beers at and how to describe them. So yes, this is Berliner Weiss. I, if I had a list, I would describe this as more of a sour. So that's why I'm super excited to try this. And if you like sours, I think you are gonna love this. I think you are gonna fall in love. Um, the only reason I know that this comes out as a really cool color is because I saw it, um, my friend sent it to me and it was like, look, which is tapped and I was like, shit, that's so cool. Okay, um, go ahead and guess what color this is if you haven't already. Um, your options are anything on the rainbow, so. Da -da 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 Drum roll please. Look at her! Look at her! She's so pretty! She's so pretty! Oh! Doesn't that just excite you? I love... <laughs> I love beers that look like a different color. I'm so... Ugh. I'm so hyped about this. In my little fatty's graduate glass. So cool. This... I don't know what color to describe. Green, blue blue green turquoise whatever really freaking excited look and remember last week when I said I'm gonna show you how to pour that was a terrible pour and I'm so sorry but I was way too excited I just needed to get it in the this glass right here so let me get some more water <sighs> gotta gotta wash the palette before I, <sighs> I know I'm gonna love this my coworker said this tastes like I think he said it was like a sour sour patch, like a, I don't even know what he said, uh, but I'm really excited. I'm really excited. Okay. You guys ready? Because I know I'm going to love this. <laughs> I, just, I almost cried. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Okay. This is what this tastes like right here. 4th of July. This tastes like 4th of July a little bit. You guys know those Smirnoff Ices that came out, I think it was like two years ago, maybe three years ago, a long time ago. It was the uh, 4th of July Smirnoff Ice. And it tasted, those tasted like when the ding ding man, the ice cream man rolls around your block and he brings around um, those ice cream. It's like the blue, the white, and the red, the Rocket Pops. This is a Rocket Pop beer right here. This is Rock Pop in your mouth, bitch. This is, ah, oh, yes, this is my new favorite beer right here. This is awesome. Holy ball. Sorry, just, ye oh my God. This isn't, this is candy. This isn't even a beer. I'm bowing down. Thank you, Metal Monkey. Thank you so freaking much for this. Go ahead and get you a glass of this. It's really unfortunate. The only downside to this is that it's 3.9%. And I think the Smirnoff Ice is more percentage than this, which is unfortunate. But hey, they literally threw candy in a glass and said, here you go. Have fun. <laughs> I'm really happy they did. Thank you so much. This is really good. I'm probably going to drink this whole thing and get drunk and talk to you guys about other things. Um, 
I know last week that I did ratings, or I did ratings and then I explained what you should drink with these beers. And to be honest, uh, last week I said that, what, what was it? Um, the number 10, whatever it was, the New England IPA with the fruit in it would go with like a pizza and a burger. And I think this was, would go with that. This tastes more like a Pilsner to me, which is very weird for a cream ale. Maybe because we had it long, I have no idea, but I really wanted this to be better. And in that case, ratings wise, I, yes, this would go with your just traditional American, sorry, I'm burping ever, hot dog, burger, pizza. And I was very disappointed in this. It's not bad. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just mad. I'm disappointed. You know when your parents would say, I'm disappointed. And you knew that you were like beyond in trouble because not only are they mad at you, but you also broke down their spirit and just disappointed the fuck out of them. And that's what this did to me. <laughs> I'm so dramatic. But yeah, this, I wanted to be better. So I... <sighs> I'm gonna give it a five. I'm giving it a five. And had I known that this was gonna taste like a pilster, I would have given it a high rating. But because she disappointed me and she upset me because I wanted her to taste like a dreamsicle and maybe that was my own expectation that I failed, but whatever, should have been better. Five. I don't even wanna look at you. So mean. Now this bad boy, a 10. This is a 10. Boom. I don't even care. I don't even care. Judge me. Judge me if you want. This raised, this met my expectations. The expectations I have for this beer hit it. Only downside, maybe I would take like 0.5 off. I'm still giving it a 10, but I'm taking like a little like 0.5 off just because it's like 3.9% and you're gonna have to get a lot of these in you to get drunk. Not me, but for my viewers who need a lot of alcohol. It's a little on the lighter end. However, uh, it looks really cool. The presentation's really cool. The brand, the name of the beer, all of the above. They know what they are doing when they are making this. So thank you, Metal Monkey. You are a 10 in my eyes. And I love you. I love you so much for this. So that's the beer ratings for today. Thank you for tuning in if you were here for the beers. But now we're going into other things now that I'm getting drunker. So thank you. Tune in next week or whatever day that I decide to do this again. Thanks. So, um, local business plug. Nobody really recommended me anything. But because I have this metal monkey in my fatties glass, um, I'm going to promote fatties today because fatties... Not only is open right now, but every Wednesday I would go to Fatty's Trivia. And now that bars are closed, I cannot go. And it breaks my spirit every day. And the guys that host Trivia on Wednesdays actually posted um, this thing where they're doing Trivia online. Obviously you can cheat, but that's not cool. But... They posted a YouTube video thing where they're doing you, uh, trivia through YouTube and you can answer their questions and you'll get drunk and Skype your friends or whatever you want to do with that. But that's really cool. And thank you guys uh, for doing that. So I'll post like the link for you guys. There was a trivia yesterday. I haven't started yet. So whoever wants to do get drunk with me and try that trivia thing, hit me up for sure. Thanks, Daddy. And above all, they do have really good uh, potato salad. If you haven't had Fatty's potato salad, you're missing out on Illinois cuisine right there. So, moving forward, let's see. Um, I'm going to do like questions after the beers and stuff. I'll do lo So, I'll do beers, local business, and questions. Or maybe I'll put them at the end. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure things out, but... 
There wasn't any really questions this week except my friend Austin asked me how long it takes me to chug a beer. And I have not chugged a beer since I was like 19 because I'm not a frat star and I can't deep throat like I used to. So <laughs> I think it would take me a long time or I would throw up. Every time I've done a beer bong in my entire life, I've thrown up. So there's your answer, Austin. Thanks for asking. <laughs> um, I've decided to do another segment. So I had the meme segment, local business segment, question segment, and I'm adding a Netflix segment because last week I, I talked about Love is Blind, and this week I'm talking about, oh, we've all seen it. And if you haven't and you don't like mainstream stuff, you're just lame. You should watch Lion King. Uh-huh. I'm basic, but I had to figure out what the hype was about. And after watching it, what? Wow. I didn't even know. If you haven't seen it, no spoilers. I won't spoil things for you. But I highly recommend watching at least the first two episodes. Just watch the first two episodes. If you're not into it after the first two episodes, bounce and tell me to go fuck off. And I was wrong. But I like... I didn't think I was going to like it. The first episode, I was like, oh, this is interesting, but I want to understand why everybody's posting all these memes about it because I want to be included. And after watching episode two, I love murder mysteries. So there's some murder mystery in there. There's some people doing some crazy shit. It's like cops and cops and drugs and murder mystery and another mystery and mysteries and weird stuff. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? And like mafia shit, but like lion mafias. And if you just want a rundown of what the show was like, my friend Nick sent me this cute little video about kind of what it's about. And I'm going to drink while you guys watch this little clip. Right that now. damn bitch, Carol mm -hmm. Baskin is to blame for all this He's, COVID shit. He is so funny. And <laughs> basically, like he said, he is depicting himself as Joe Exotic. That's what this show is about. It's about lions and Joe Exotic doing some crazy stuff and zoos and drugs and stuff. Who understands? Anyway, that's my Netflix recommendation of the week. And I'm going to show you, a, if you haven't watched the show, you can just skip through this part, but I'm going to post my favorite memes from the show because... <laughs> Hold on, I'm just gonna go on my computer real quick, just to, so I know when I post these, what I posted. So the first one I'm gonna post is the Joe Exotic. <laughs> okay, so Joe Exotic goes into, somebody gets their arm ripped off, and he goes into the gift shop, and he, <laughs> it's just like, he's like, guys, I'm so sorry, but a tiger did just rip somebody's arm off. And then everybody else in the gift shop is just like, so that's what this meme is about. God, who says that? I don't even know. I don't even know. And then while <laughs> that person, her name's Saf, I, his name's Saf, sorry. And while he's getting his arm ripped off, Joe puts on this EMS bomber and he goes around. I don't know. That's, that's hilarious. And the meme that's going to be represented is that the the drip never takes de takes a back seat. Where did he even get that EMS bomber? Um, speaking of, I did want to wear like tiger um, wear today, but I don't own anything of that genre. I did when I was like ten, and it's long gone. So maybe I'll order some for next week. Last one, I think maybe I might post some more. There, <laughs> spoiler, this is this is a spoiler. I'm so sorry, skip through like for an, a minute straight. Joe has three husbands or 8,000, I don't even know. And one of them was Travis. Travis was like 19. Travis um, passed away. And at the funeral for Travis, Joe is talking about how Travis rubbed his balls on his face. <laughs> I just fucking died. So that's what this meme will represent. I, this dude is just wild and thank you joe for entertaining america while we're on some weird shit right now 
So that is the Netflix recommendation and some memes. Lastly, my meme of the week. I really like this one. I think it, whoever, whoever made this, thank you. Just like, look at this bat. <laughs> if you ate that bat, look what you did to all of America, unless this is a conspiracy, which I'm in just conspiracies. And if you have any conspiracies about COVID-19, send them to me. Currently, I don't believe in the, this is happening so that the government can put batteries back in the birds thing. Don't think I believe that unless you can convince me. So that's a challenge for you people who think that the government has shut us down so they can put batteries back in the birds. Let me know. I would like information, some more information on that. And part of me thinks I could be a total idiot and I'm so sorry if I offend anybody, but what if this is just the flu? If you're a nurse and you're looking at this and you've seen extreme cases, I'm so sorry. I don't mean to offend you, but I'm into the conspiracy and I just have to say, what if this is just the flu and the government did this to shut us down and put us in the ho our houses for a reason? Like there is a reason behind this. Think, think on it. I don't know. I am getting a little drunker and my mind is just racing on conspiracy theories. Who, know, who knows? Maybe it's real. Maybe it's not. Maybe the government is lying to us. But they definitely did know all of this was happening before they like put out a warning because so many people took their money out of stocks before the stock market did a whole crash. So explain that, America. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. So that ends my episode for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Metal Monkey, for this beautiful beer. Thank you, Joe Exotic, for all of the memes that you're providing for America right now in this tough time. And I don't know what I'm doing, and neither do you. So make sure you join next week so we can get lost together. Thank you all for watching, and have a great week. Maybe I'll post next week, maybe not. Stay tuned.